Ever One, this is attractively toned 1911 proof Lincoln sent in PR67 brown condition. Mud proofs from early years of Lincoln sent series have mintage that seem remarkably low relative to proof mintages in millions struck in later decades. The 1911 proof production was only 1733 pieces and survivors are surprisingly scarce. Sold on November 20, 2022 for $5,280 at heritage auctions. Here is 1915 Lincoln set in PR66 red condition. The 1915 is among the scarcest mud proof Lincoln scent in full red color, surpassed in rarity only by 1916 and 1909 VDB proofs. The 1915 rarely encountered finer than PR65 red, and only a handful of CEC approved pieces are known in PR66 red and finer grades. Pleasing copper red color complements sharp detail on broad, squared rims, with no distracting contact marks. Sold on January 11, 2023, for $12,000 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1924 D. Lincoln sent in mean state 65 red. Amongst the finest known, this example boasts no such distractions with bright orange red surfaces, front and back. No observable carbon and sharp strikes that show slight weakness only on the four in the date. Like many examples of this issue, the reverse is rotated about 20 degrees from the obverse. Sold on April 25, 2019, for $13,200 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1909 Lincoln set in PR67 red condition, condition rarity proven by CAC. The 1909 proof Lincoln scent with the plain reverse is much more plentiful than the VDB variant. Although the Super Gem red examples are conditionally rare with little more than a dozen pieces in these and finer grades. The present coin displays razor sharp detail and satiny golden luster with almost no imperfection save for a tiny speck at the left side of N in 1. Sold on January 11, 2023 for $22,800 at Heritage Auctions. As the most expensive lot of this episode, one of the most popular error pennies of all times. 1943 Lincoln Saint struck on a bronze planchet, circulated coin in AU-50 condition. A need for copper to support the military during the World War II sent the US Mint scrambling to find an alternative composition for the one cent piece. A wide variety of designs were created for the experimental coins and many of those were manufactured by private companies around the country. Once the results of various experiments were received, the Mint ultimately chose encoded steel for cent planchets. Occasionally planchets from a previous press run would be lodged in corners of recesses in tot beans and then knocked loose when a new supply of planchets filled those beans. That's what happened with this error. This AU example has strong design definition with sharp hair and beard detail on obverse and full width ears on reverse. A few trivial handling marks are noted on each side but they are of no concern. Sold on January 12, 2023 for $240,000 at heritage auctions.